Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to a trash or treasure. My name is Carly. If you are joining us for the first time today, hello and welcome. Trash or treasure is where we take a huge backlog of never played before Steam games, select one randomly, and decide after 30 minutes whether or not the game is trash or treasure. We see a lot of great stuff on here and a lot of not so great stuff on here. So we are just going to get to picking. We've got 124 games to choose from. If you're curious of what those are, you can see the games list on my Twitter. But here we go. <laughs> All right, I hope it's 14. People are picking. Oh, 70. All right. What is 70? Oh, la, la, I can't even find it. Reveal the deep. Ooh, interesting. Reveal the deep. Yeah. For some reason, my brain thought like revel the deep, but it's definitely not that. Reveal the Deep. I got 2016, so <laughs> let's install it. You may have noticed I got my hair cut today. I know it's still super long, but it's cleaned up at the ends because those of you who know a bunch about me know that I'm trying to grow it out really, really long to be like a red Rapunzel, so I'm going to keep dyeing my hair as it gets longer and longer and longer. And yeah, I think it's going to be awesome. Right now it's a little faded out from being washed so much, but I don't know, still looks good. <laughs> Download all this Java stuff? What? Okay, so apparently there are some issues running it. Uh, I, I got a Java update, Java update for it. So let's hope it uh, runs now. Oh, it's doing something. Okay, so we've got our nice silent screen here. Character select, settings, desktop. There's us. Okay, three chapters. Chapter one. I heard a little noise. We are underwater. Okay, left arrow, right arrow to to run in that direction. Ooh, I would be so scared being underwater in, let me move my mouse. Okay. Being underwater like this, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't do it. So we're in the deep sea. Ooh. Okay, to stand and to jump. Got some ambient sounds a bit. P to pause. What are the graphic settings? This is the highest it'll go. Alright. The frames for a second. Shows up here. Alright. We don't really need to see that. It's running alright. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, crouching makes you go slower, too, I guess. Okay, space to turn your light on and off. It's kind of a slow reaction, like, press, and then it goes. Press. I guess he needs time to do it with the animation, but... Whatever. Are there going to be monsters in the deep? Oh, I can wander around without my light on. Interesting. All right, so there was no floor there before, but when we turn our light off, there's a floor. I don't know what'll happen if I just walk into the darkness. 
Oh, come on now, turn the bike on. Oh, there's fish. When an exclamation mark, exclamation mark appears, interact by pressing right shift. Okay. I see. Anything else? No. Let's go this way. Oh, we can push this thing. All right. We're on to something. Oh, a key! Would you look at that? Come on, you can make it! Oh man, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, now you use this freaking stairs. Is it locked to all of them? I mean, I'll admit, this is kind of boring. Oh, here we go. Something's happening. Tom's Expedition Log. 19th of May, 1901. I helped the professor move the crate into the lowest hold. He doesn't want anyone to open it. Happy with my own treasure. Beautiful silver box I found. Crook wants it to go to the museum, but I'm feeling more and more attached to it. We depart tomorrow morning for England. Okay, how do I... I'm done reading this. How do I get it? How do I get rid of it? <laughs> oh, it just goes away on its own if you start walking? Alright. If you say so. How do you have enough oxygen for this? This guy's gonna drown. Alright, we can't get to there. Can't get to there either. I wish we could move a little faster than this, but you know, can't always get what you want. I do like the little bubbles effect on him. That's cool. Oh, what? The door is open now, eh? By whom? <laughs> Alright. Somebody's here. Oh! What was that? What is that? What is that thing? It's gonna kill me, I'm sure. It was nothing! Marked anchovies. Alright. Nothing. Huh. Tricked me, I saw eyeballs. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right, we'll go back up. But whenever there's a light on the wall, it appears you can switch. I still can't get to it though. Oh, I could push that down. God damn it. God damn it. Mm -mm. Yeah, all right. Like magic. Can I not push it anymore? Can't push it when the light's off, I guess. Yes, we got the key. I don't know what it's for. Maybe the room that was to the right of us 
when we first started, because I figured I couldn't get in that room, I didn't even bother to check. Dearest Alice, with significant difficulty, I have gained passage aboard a vessel heading to England. SS Uri Dice will depart Singapore on the morrow. It has been charted by a man, introduces Professor Cook to move cargo collected on his recent expedition. He was set to refuse me until he learned I was an explorer. I hate this boat. Its size is like nothing imaginable. It feels empty and hollow inside. There cannot be more than 100 people on board. I met Crook's journalist, Tom, little more than a boy. He won't leave me in peace, constantly asking about my travels. I think I'm beginning to like the brat. <laughs> Your faithful husband, Isaac. Wonderful, Isaac. Thank you for sharing. So far, the only thing I like about this game is that little bubble effect when he's going up and down the steps. Ooh, captain's room, eh? What a... Why wouldn't I just stand there you pull the key out? I don't understand. But he won't use it. I can only read their journals in the light of the ship, apparently. Beatrice Diary, 24th of May. He spoke with Isaac today. He agreed with me that there is something unnatural happening on this boat. He asked what I saw in the hole. I think he suspects something being kept down there is causing the strangeness. If only I could shake this headache, I may be able to think clearly. Ew. Stop pulling the key out for no reason. You're not going to use it. Alright, there's nothing going on over here. Should I go all the way back? So there's something unnatural going on in here. We're gonna find it and it's gonna kill us probably. Gotta go all the way back. It's where we first started. Might be. Yeah, we got it. Now we don't have the stupid key. All right, oh, okay. Don't know what that was. Oh, good job. It's interesting how it comes like close up and further away depending on where you are, what you're doing. I said that whatever it is being held in the basement, so. The basement of this gigantic ship can't be worse than what you found in the ship of Why Am I Dead at Sea. Is it gonna get me? Alright, I don't know. Don't know what you want from me. We'll go to it. Oh my god, that fucking spooked me. Are you gonna do it again? So I can't go that way. Can't go towards the eyeballs. And you can't die either. Spook alert. Oh, it still comes and gets you even then. Whew. Made me jump. Ooh, this does not look like a friendly part of the ship. Alright. going around it. Sink filled with black gunk. Alright then. I guess we're just to reveal what's going on in the deep. So far kind of boring. Alright, this is the 19th of May, so a little bit before that. I shall miss Singapore. Look forward to the events. Miss the business. Uh, Professor Crook still took the time to invite me to dine with him. Some of the crew. I met a rather frightening man named Isaac. His presence seemed to fill the room. I was able to enjoy the meal thoroughly thanks to Tom telling me about the island which was discovered. Hmm. 
Interesting. Who did Isaac write to? I can't remember. Did he write to Beatrice? She don't. She don't like him. You can't watch, walk, and switch your light at the same time. I feel like that kind of sucks. Uh, you can't like jump and switch your light. Nothing. No combo moves. Maybe I'm supposed to get the crab over to where the monster thing is. Alright. That way it doesn't fall, it just keeps going and then it won't fall there. It'll just keep going. Hey, what do you want with me? Yeah, keep going. Get eaten. All right, that gets rid of you. It's like our protagonist has no feelings, no thoughts or anything. Let's read it. Ooh, pretty. Tom, expedition. Beatrice let me sketch her. She seemed distracted. Okay, 26, I was stuck below deck for a long time. I thought I was gonna be trapped forever. I found this strange mechanism which is controlled by a lever on the other side of the room, switching it allowed objects through vertically or horizontally. And that was Tom. Gets a little spooky, I guess. No matter where we go now is gonna be progress, I feel. There's three chapters. I guess I won't be able to complete chapter one in a half an hour. It's pretty much already hit that. Okay. Yeah, alright. Give me here. It's like a murmuring of people. Oh, more stairs. More books. What? I can't read it in the dark. Alright then. Beatrice Diary. I feel scared. I feel on this boat behaving strangely and they look unwell. I hope it's merely seasickness. Expressing my concern to the professor, he offered me a visit to the tower cargo hold. Or lower, not tower. The lower cargo hold. To see some of what is being brought to England. Thought it might ease my nerves. He was right. The air in the hold is unusual cold, but it's not unpleasant. I felt my head clear. The way back up to the deck seemed different than before, like something's changed. Mm. This is quite the interesting boat. Alright. Lose level progress. You don't even get to save or anything. You just lose the level. Alright everybody, that was 35 minutes of Reveal the Deep and... Overall, I wasn't really too impressed with the game, like even right off the back, the opening screen. No music, not even any kind of ambiance or anything. The graphics weren't anything to like write home about, that's for sure. Especially, especially that title screen, apparently they matter to me. It's like your first impression of a game is when you see the title screen, <laughs> you know? But, uh... As I continued playing it, despite it being like a, a simple puzzle platform of sorts where you're just discovering what has happened way back when in the ship, there seems to be something um, maybe paranormal, maybe magical, who knows, down there. And you're discovering it through reading people's journals and just going through the levels and such. I got spooked once, like not scared, but startled me, that's for sure. It definitely startled me, that one part uh, with like, I don't know, the thing that comes at you. But you can't die and you can't save either. That's a big problem I have personally because... Uh, Sometimes I can't play games for long periods of time because of my hands and, you know, other things. Life happens. And 
that was like that was like 30 minutes of me doing the one chapter it's not like i got to the end of the chapter at least not that i could see it didn't say that i did so i basically just lost 30 minutes of progress and that's not cool <laughs> i don't like that personally <laughs> you know sit down and play it all the way through don't sit down to play it at all basically so i'll choose the latter <laughs> what else about it sound effects were fine you know it, it made sense underground everything sounded fine there it wasn't anything like you didn't need music because the ambiance there was good. You utilize your light on and off to help you complete the puzzles. My favorite part of the game was the little like bubbles or whatever that you would see a whole bunch of them surround him when he uh, moved up and down the ladders. I really enjoyed that. I thought it, was, it looked well done out of basically everything else in there. I wouldn't say that this is a trash game, to be honest with you. It's not garbage. You know, I had a little bit of trouble opening it, eh, whatever. Had a little bit of meh feelings with it. But the story does seem pretty interesting. I wish I could just know. I guess I could look it up. But, I mean, I wish I could just right now, oh, this is what happened to them on the ship and I don't have to play any more of it. Because <laughs> it was fine. But overall, I found it a little bit boring. So, this game, Reveal the Deep, is coming out of the Games to Try folder. And... Blonk! Right into the Trash folder. Middle of the road game. It's not terrible. It works. You can play it. And you know, depending on what your interests are, you can have an enjoyable time with it. But um, for me, I'm probably not going to play any more of this one. If you end up picking it up, let me know. Let me know your thoughts about Reveal the Deep. Do you own this game? Roaming Dan, you don't have it. <laughs> Are you going to buy this game? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not overall impressed with it. But to get into the trash folder, you really have to be bad. Or just not work, you know, at all. Because people make all sorts of different kind of games. And everyone has a whole bunch of different kind of interests. While this puzzle platformer is a little bit on the boring side for me, it might be more interesting and engaging for other people. You never know. If that people is you. <laughs> if you were that person, let me know down in the comments below. I want to, before I leave, say thank you to everyone who comes by and who comes to my Twitter and interacts with the game posts and leaves nice comments on the videos. And I really actually enjoy hearing about whether or not you know this game or you've played it or if you would play it kind of thing. I find that pretty interesting because we all have kind of different tastes. So I think it's awesome. Like if it's a game that I didn't like but you like, that's cool. Like I, I want to know. So let me know in the comments down below. I am considering moving to two episodes of Trash Your Treasure a week just to speed it up a little bit because there's 124 games and well that's 124 weeks right so we'll be here doing this for years <laughs> yes stick with me through it but I'm going to consider doing that when I am more well unfortunately I have like some rib trauma on top of like everything else that's going on so i'm actually haven't been quite well these last couple of weeks so in uh, in six weeks fingers crossed that it uh, it subsides but anyway i appreciate you guys sticking with me and have a wonderful evening or day morning whatever time it is that you've decided to watch this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye!